today. My name's Eric. As always, I want to thank you for coming by and checking out my video today. On this episode of Smoking, I'm going to show you how to do a smoked spatchcock chicken. Now, chicken is a really super easy thing to cook if you just got a brand new smoker. And when you spatchcock it, it sounds complicated, but all you're really doing is cutting the backbone out of the chicken and laying it flat. The advantage of this is I think it looks a little bit better than a whole chicken and you're going to get a little bit more even cooking because all the meat is kind of laid out in a flat, a flat piece of meat there and it seems to cook a lot faster too and you don't have to deal with this big empty cavity inside the chicken. Now I'm going to be real simplistic with this. Some people like to dry brine the bird, you know, put salt in it. Some like to wet brine it, put it in some water, soak it overnight. I just bought a five pound chicken at the grocery store. I just took it out of the package. I'm going to spray some olive oil spray on it. I'm going to season it with some Hay Grill Hay uh, Sweet Barbecue Rub. I'll leave a link below down to uh, Susie's uh, uh, YouTube channel. She's another fellow YouTube and we uh, bought these spices. We really like them and I highly recommend. And yeah, that's it. Put them on my smoker. I think you could probably cut around 45 minutes to an hour of cooking time out of this by spatchcocking it versus sticking the whole bird in like this or even putting it on like a beer can holder. So anyway guys, super easy, super delicious. Stick around. I'm going to show you how to do this step by step. Let's get cooking. Alright guys, so the first thing you have to do after getting the chicken out of the package is to remove the backbone. Now it's real easy. You put it on a back side up here and you can see the neck bone right here and the backbone just runs alongside. So you want to cut just all right along here. Now you can do this with a sharp knife, but I think it's a lot easier if you have some kitchen shears or some really good kitchen scissors. And this part doesn't sound very appetizing because it makes a lot of crunching sounds but not very difficult. Just going to go along the backbone like so. Take your time. Just cut right along. Okay, one side right there. That went through relatively easy. Let's do the other side here. I'm left-handed, so it's a little bit harder for me to use these things. I'm wearing the gloves here. Cheap disposable gloves. There we go. There we go guys. There's the backbone. Now you can save this if you wanted for like chicken stock or something like that. You're making some chicken stock. I'm just gonna throw it away. So here it is. What we're going to do next, before we can lay it completely flat, we have to put a little sharp edge in here in this breastbone and kind of split it because right now it's preventing us from right, laying so it flat. So all we're going to do here, right here in the middle of the breastbone, get, get a big knife and just kind of push down like that. Yeah, and you should just hear a crack. So now we're going to flip it around. We're going to lay it flat and you're just going to push just like that and lay everything flat. I like to kind of lay the drumsticks inside like so. Just like that guys. So what I'm going to do here before we season it, there's some loose skin here. I'm going to clean this up real well and then we'll be back to season it in just a second. Alright guys, so here's the chicken. I cleaned it up real well. I'm going to put it in a tray because we're going to season it. I don't want to get seasoning all over my cutting board. We'll be back in a second. All right, guys, so if you have a tray, this is a, something you really need if you're going to barbecue and smoke. This way you can put it on the smoker, remove it from the smoker. Makes, a, makes it much easier and less stressful. So you see I have the turned up upside down. As I mentioned before, I'm using the Hay Grill Hay Sweet Barbecue Rub, which they recommend for pork, ribs, chicken, and veggies. I did try this on uh, uh, a turkey breast a while back and it was really good. So that's what I'm using here. And you know how this work, works, guys. 
I didn't put any spray on the back side because I'm going to put it back side towards the heat source and I don't want it to burn. So just a light coating of this rub. Use whatever rub you want to use. There's so many interesting rubs nowadays. Just like so. Alright, now carefully let me kind of push some of that rub down so it adheres. Now with one hand I'm going to try to flip her over. And like I said, for presentation, I like to kind of lay it, kind of fold the legs inward, like so. Just kind of straighten out. Just like that, guys. Look at that. Look how beautiful that looks. All right, so now we're going to, I forgot to spray it, but I'll spray it afterwards. I'm going to put a light coating on right now. Get inside the wings as well, on the side of the thighs. Okay, I'm gonna, I got some just like some extra virgin olive oil spray. I think this just helps adhere a little bit better. It's like so. You can just brush it with olive oil as well. And then I'll continue to give it a little bit of a heavier coating. Just kind of tilting everything up, make sure I get everything covered properly. See, all that stuff I didn't get because I didn't lift up the leg there. Get the side. All right. I think we are in business. Look at that, guys. Doesn't that just look beautiful? All right, I'm just going to leave this on the counter for a few minutes. I'm going to go outside and fire up my smoker. Since it is so cold today, I'm not using a pellet smoker. I'm going to be using my Char Griller Auto Kamado. I'm going to be cooking this at 275 degrees. Seeing that we spatchcocked it here, I'm thinking maybe two to two and a half hours tops. At least that's what I'm thinking at that 275. The reason I'm going 275 is because I want this skin to hopefully get a little crispy. All right, guys, I'll meet you outside. We're going to start this fire cube, and we're just going to let this go for a few minutes, get a nice little fire going. No, oh, that might be too much. I don't want to suffocate it. Just like that, guys. We'll let it go for like 10 minutes before I get everything ready to go to put the chicken on. And I checked the temperature. It is 20 degrees, so not as, uh, not as cold as I initially thought, but it's actually warmed up because yesterday it was around zero. All right, be back in a minute. All right, guys, it's been around 10, 12 minutes. We got a nice fire. I got a, some pieces of hickory wood. A lot of times this won't even catch on fire so I'll put a little piece back there just to kind of hopefully make sure we'll put one piece right there one piece there one piece over there so how I'm going to set this up is I got the heat deflector we're going to put down like that because I don't want any direct heat on this chicken let me go grab the All right, grate put the grate on there like so and now I'm going to close the lid and we're going to turn on the controller and like I said 275 you can go all the way up to 300 guys but I'll get it fired up to 275 let it hit temperature we'll put that chicken on be back in a minute all right guys my smoker has reached 275 degrees like I said you could do this anywhere between 275 and 300 I have the wonderful chicken here I'm trying something brand new this is the chef Chef's Temp um, new Bluetooth wireless thermometer. I'm going to do a separate review on that. I'll leave a link below. But there we go, guys. Not very complicated. Look how beautiful that thing looks. 
like I said, I'm guessing two to two and a half hours, maybe three tops, but I don't even think so. This was only a five pound chicken. We'll go from there, guys. I'm going inside to have a drink. I'll meet you guys inside. Ooh, it's cold out here. All right, guys, while that chicken's cooking, time for a drink. I'm trying another one from the Spotzel Brewery out of Shiner, Texas. This is a dark wheat style beer, Duncan Weizen. So it's a dark wheat beer. I don't think I've ever had that before. 5.6% uh, alcohol. So that's what I'm having. This is my son, Kyle. Hello. And he is having another Mountain Dew flavor. This one is called Baja Caribbean Splash with a blast of natural and artificial guava flavor. Hmm. Alright. Kyle, right. Kyle just told me the other day, we were just kind of hanging out, and he said, man, you know what, Dad, I wish I could have a soda that had some decent guava <laughs> flavor to it. <laughs> All right. I don't even know how guava tastes like. I'm sure I've had it before, but well, it must be popular in the Caribbean. <laughs> All right, guys, let's check this out. Oh, I can see it. It's it's dark, and it looks like a wheat beer. Well, I guess I'm gonna go have a taste. Dark, cloudy, just like a wheat beer. Smell a little bit of uh, carbonation, that's about it. Alright? Smells interesting. Hmm. Smells sugary. Cheers. Well, it's a Mountain Dew. Cheers to our viewers, guys. I appreciate you stopping by. Alright, let's give this a sample. Wow, this is really good. It kind of tastes like a wheat beer, like I, it reminds me of kind of spot in German, but with a tinge of that dark, you know, like a, not quite like a Guinness, but like a, just like a darker beer mixed with, a, like if you took a half a wheat beer, mix it with half a dark beer, <laughs> it's good. It's got a lot of good flavor. Mmm, I'm going to enjoy this one. All right, Kyle. Baja, what is it? Caribbean, Baja Caribbean Splash. So, I have a, a decent bit to say on this. It doesn't taste like, normally I'd say Mountain Dew tastes very like syrupy almost. They're like thick. Yeah. Uh, I, like there's a different consistency between like if you drink a Mountain Dew, I'd say it's more on like the thicker end or like a root beer or something versus if you drink like a Sprite, which is like more light. Yeah. Which is kind of what this is. It tastes more of like a light soda, which is surprising because it's Mountain Dew, mm. and they typically don't do that. Uh, and the flavor, it's like, it kind of tastes like watermelon, but it's also like, it I, it also kind of feels like, a, what are what are those fruits called? I'm thinking like, where you find like, like is it cantaloupe? Where you find like the pineapple and the honeydew and all that stuff? Well, like a fruit salad? Yeah, like the of? orange ones. I like the... Yeah, this cantaloupe. Uh -huh. Yeah, like the... Uh, <coughs> yeah, it kind of has that cantaloupe or the or honeydew. honeydew. Yeah. Sort of like, in a sense, it's like watery, kind of. So it tastes like a watery... Water well, that's bun, probably... That what sense. you're probably tasting is that uh, guava flavor. Mm-hmm. So, well, would you drink this over normal Mountain Dew? Probably, because this is a lot more light than a... Okay, well, there you go. Mountain Dew. So if you guys see it in the store, give it a shot. I would definitely recommend this. If you kind of like a darker wheat-style beer, give it a shot. Uh, I bought a variety pack from Spotsil Brewery from the Shiner, Texas. And so far, everything I've had, I've been really impressed with, guys. So if you see this in your uh, local market, give it a shot. Again, guys, I appreciate you stopping by. I'm going to enjoy this drink, and... Uh, I'll kind of go out and check on that chicken in a little bit and see how it's doing. In the meantime, cheers. We'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for stopping by. All right, guys. My smoker's running a little hot. 295, 131 is showing the temperature of that spatchcock chicken. It's smoking, man. I'll tell you that. Let me, uh, let's take a look at it, see how it's going here. I don't think uh, if it's actually that temperature, it's probably not going to take long before it is ready. 
nice smoky coloring on that for sure let me show you guys I'm sorry it's so dark out here I got an external light here we'll shine it around so you guys can kind of take a look at this beautiful chicken oh, let me put it on hold man look how easy that was guys I didn't do anything special spatchcocked it seasoned it sprayed some uh, spray on it yeah look at this man smoked chicken for dinner I think uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna put some barbecue sauce on it or not maybe just uh, glaze it up a little bit but there it is guys look at it we'll let it go a few more minutes so it gets up to tip see you then guys we only probably have 10 15 minutes more on this uh, beautiful smoked chicken look at it it's a sad day we're gonna use the last of our Chris and Pitts original 1949 recipe blend of barbecue sauce this is from Southern California um, they have a couple restaurants out there they had one in Bellflower where I used to work way back when and uh, yeah that's when I discovered it I love their barbecue sauce it's not too sweet it's smoky it's tangy and uh, one of Monica's friends Nicole thank you Nicole she sent us a box with a bunch of bottles this is our last bottle <laughs> So that's why it's a sad day. But anyway, guys, if you can get a hold of this stuff, I recommend it. So anyway, there is my beautiful spatchcock chicken. It's getting a little toasty, so we're going to put a little sauce on this. And I'm just going to kind of dab it here. And then we'll just let it go for the last few degrees to get up to 10. And dinner will be served. Look at this, guys. Man. Smoked barbecue chicken. Mm-hmm. All right, guys. It's been around 10 minutes. Let's pause this. Take a look. How that chicken's looking with that sauce. Woohoo! All right, I'm going to put a little bit more sauce on, and then I think we will be done. Mm-hmm. All right, guys. Take a look. Give it like another 10, 15 minutes. We'll be done. All right, welcome back. I'm here with my wife, Monica. Hi. I've cut up some of this delicious smoked spatchcock chicken. <laughs> it looks and smells. No, it smells great. Really good. Look, I've already tried some. It's good. Dude, I could smell it when it was out in the smoker, by the way. Oh, yeah. It smelled in Christian the house, pits. I was like, oh. I know Monica likes this, That's so I'm just going to drizzle well, them. Okay, this is my favorite, but I have to, this is a second to, uh, what is it? What What's Greg's? Oh, Greg Larimar? Yeah, what's his? Isn't that bluegrass? I think he calls it bluegrass barbecue sauce. Yeah. <laughs> That's my favorite, and he doesn't make it in big batches, so. No, no, that is good. But this is That's, good. This is good. This is my second favorite, but it, yeah, the chicken looks amazing. All right, let's give this a sample, guys. Okay. Yeah. Now this is our last bottle. Now we're, we're gonna. Well, you're gonna have to make cheers. your own. Yeah. I might have to start making you have my to own. Make your own now. Sauce. We're at the end. Yeah, we are. Okay. Cheers. Oh wow. Mm. Moist. Smoky. Mmm. Chris and Pitts. Mmm. That's no, good. I do like Chris and Pitts That's sauce, good. man. That's a winner right there. It's got that tang. Oh, I like that. It's got the tang I like. Or as you say, twang. Yeah, it's just it's good. It's good. But the chicken, getting back to the chicken, wow. It's moist, huh? Cheers. Very moist, very smoky. It's good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like this. This is good. This is really good, actually. No, it is really good. Mm -hmm. And look, guys, how easy was that? You get a chicken, you uh, 
spatchcock it, you put some seasoning, some barbecue sauce. You make it look so easy. I wouldn't know how to do this. No, that's all it is, really. It's very it's easy, very, actually. I'm a very lucky woman. I got this man to cook some good stuff all the time. You should subscribe because his Just channel get a good is the bomb. Instant read thermometer. His food's the bomb. <clears throat> Just get a good instant read thermometer. Oh, make can, sure it's yeah. temp. Once it hits temp, take it off, cover it with foil, let it rest. You're in business. Being at temp's important. Yeah, not very. But not over. But this is really good. For this, one sixty-five. Really Honey, you did it. You did mm -hmm. a great job. Mm. Mm hmm. Okay, I'm gonna enjoy this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Guys, as always, I appreciate you stopping by and watching my video. If you like it, hit the like button. The logo here in my shirt is the logo on the bottom of the screen. Click that. It allows you to subscribe to my channel. Please do that. It helps mm -hmm. my channel grow. And you won't regret it because his no. food is double. And check out my website, ericsmokingbarbecue.com. I have all my uh, recipes, video links, you know, the whole bit. Go check it out. No, if you talk it, I'll eat. No, it is mm. good. Mm -hmm. This is so good. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to refrain while I'm on video. I'm going to go let loose in a minute. Thanks again, guys. <laughs> Stop by. We'll see you <laughs> next time. Bye, guys. Bye. Thank you.